I'm naked again. That's better. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to June Favorites. I have a few things to get through and some of the things under favorites are gonna kind of reference appreciation, but if you stick with me, hopefully it will all make sense. So I've had extremely dry under eyes and on top of my eyes for putting on my eyeshadow. And I've really struggled with that. And what has been amazing is my Monistat Chafing Gel. This is not to be confused with the other Monistat. This is a chafing powder gel that is meant to go on your thighs if you have heat rash. Well, this works extremely well as a face primer, but what I found is in the middle of the day even, if I'm all dried out and cakey and every single wrinkle accentuated under here, put a little bit of this on, just a tiny bit, let it tap in and hydrate, and then put on some more concealer. And it mixes with the concealer, makes it moister. I can even use my Tarte Tape Shape even on my driest day. Now I have figured out why my eyes were so dry, so stay tuned for the appreciation part, but that does not negate the fact that this, for me, is amazing. Absolutely love it, and on my upper eye, I had a piece of skin in here that was constantly scaly, itchy, dry. Put this on, my eyeshadow stays on all day. You can also use it with a primer, you know, an eyeshadow primer on top of, but this is fabulous. I heard about this from Lori, Trixie Girlism, who's given me so many great tips, but this is a tried and true. I think maybe I'm gonna stop experimenting once I use up my eye primers, all my other primers, and just stick with this. Plus, it's nice to have a face primer and the eye primer all in one, especially when I travel. Also, when I put my Monistat on my face, I sometimes mix it like today so that my body matches my face with my hard candy luminizer. This is very dark and very thick, so it works well to mix them together. Just put it on in the, you know, before I start my makeup. Sometimes I'll go get my coffee and by the time I come back to do my makeup, it's just set down and a beautiful foundation and I'm not as pale, so I somewhat match. And speaking of which, my tanning cream. I don't know if you can see here today. I was researching on Amazon. I wanted one that is basically streak proof, goof proof, super easy and dark. I like going dark in the summer. I don't want to look orange and I want to look like I've got a good solid tan. This is it. And little did I know when I was researching it, this is the stuff that Candy Johnson showed. So it's got Candy's seal of approval. I didn't even know that until I scrolled way down on their webpage or maybe I found it on their Facebook page. I was looking through all of the reviews because I didn't want to buy one that was finicky, that would flake off, that wouldn't, you know, fade well. And it said, thanks to Candy Johnson for your review. So this is Candy approved as well. This stuff is amazing. What I do is after I shower, just because it's easier for me to do it in the shower, I have a moisturizer in there that I get my elbows and all of the bony parts. <laughs> and then I use this. Now I usually put on gloves. Another tip I wanna share is if by chance, this is colored when you put it on. It's not the color that it's going to be. It's colored so you can see it. And then, you know, when you shower, at least as many hours later as you can handle, five, six, seven hours later, then it washes off and that's the naturally developed color. So the color that's in there initially is just so you can see it and you don't streak. But if you do have streaks, get a whitening toothpaste and you can use that, you know, on your knuckles or whatever bony part where maybe the color has collected. I have never had that happen with this. This is easy, goof proof, love it. And it was, I think just over $20, which was another criteria I had when I was searching on Amazon. Gets rave reviews and I will definitely repurchase. This is one that I'm gonna be using all summer long. My Jergens three day glow, I like, but it smells funny. This has a beautiful cherry almond flavor smell and I love that. My Jergens has a funny smell and in my opinion, it tends to go a little too orange. This is brown, tan, and I love it. I 
And then finally, bronzer. You can see I am in the summer mood. I am the bronze goddess. And I have been enjoying so many of them. You're going to see in my use-ups, if I haven't posted it already, I'm doing my e.l.f. bronzer that's never ending. It's very cool. And uh, Sonia Kashuk, which is very gold, and I love that. But today, I am wearing this e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer. And it is almost mauve -y. And it, I love it. It's beautiful. You can use it as a blush or as the bronzer if you blend it out more. I really like that. Now, I'm not as big on the blush. Um, it's more like a highlighter. It's okay over top, but for me, I'll just use up this side, and when that's done, that would be it. But this is really pretty. Elf, to me, has some gorgeous bronzers, as does Milani, and this is one of them that I absolutely love, and it's the Soleil. It's very um, gold with the streaks in there. I also love, I've showed before how I love to take a brush and do my arms in the muscly part to make them look more toned. Works the same way on your legs. Obviously, you don't want to be brushing up against a white couch after you've covered yourself in bronzer, but I love my bronzer. Okay, now for what I was referring to of the dry eyes. I also need to tell you I have had itchy skin, I get psoriasis or eczema patches, I have sometimes something in my mouth going on, like um, tingling tongue and gums, and it comes and goes as it pleases, and I have not been able to figure any of this out until lately. And like I said, I have the dry eyes and just so much dryness everywhere. Well, I figured it out. Thanks to my boyfriend, Dr. Berg, nutritional yeast. This happens to be from Trader Joe's. If you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, I'll link another one that you can get off of Amazon. You basically need a tablespoon. I am deficient. And I know I was deficient when I was vegan and vegetarian, you'll be deficient. You can't get your proper diet on those. And so I got replenished after I stopped being vegan, but I had an alkaline gut, which is why I take the betaine. You cannot absorb your proper nutrients, especially the bees, if you don't have an acidic enough stomach. So the betaine, I swear by this stuff, you're going to get tired of me talking about it, but it allows me to absorb my bees and stress and age also deplete your bees. So I am taking a tablespoon of this three, four, five times a day, and some people have it on their salads, and that's really good. You can use it anywhere where there's Parmesan cheese that you would like. I love the taste of it. It's kind of nutty and crunchy when it starts, and it is dry, yes, that's why you only put a tablespoon or so in your mouth, and then it switches over to the Parmesan flavor. It is delicious. It's very easy to incorporate, and I have noticed my skin the next day stopped being so dry, my eczema or psoriasis patches started going away. Even when Mark would sometimes put his hand on my knee and then, you know, unconsciously move it around, I used to kind of squirm away because it would irritate the skin and my skin was so sensitive, that's completely gone. And I never realized how much my skin is on fire and really overly itchy and sensitive until it's gone away. And I might get some bee shots, I don't know. If you have any thoughts on that, please leave it below. I have to travel to Asia again with my work, and there's a lot of stressful times coming up, and you know, I deal with a lot. So if a sh couple of shots could help me replenish my bees, I would be more than open to that. I don't want to get resistant where I need the shots though, and that's why this is just amazing. So I've been loving again our weather. We are over 100, you might hear the AC on. It's still beautiful. I've been showing on Instagram where we're still sitting outside in the evenings when it's down in the 90s. We don't have humidity, it's very different. Somewhere with humidity can be hot in the 70s. Here, 100, 110 can still be beautiful. And we've been loving our yard. And the best part, I've been able to go in my pool. I am a total wimp and I don't like to go in there when it's much under 85. 
and I've been able to go in and do laps and I just love having our pool. We have had a very mild spring. Normally I can be in the pool in May, so now to be in it in June, that's okay because we got the nice spring, but I'm really happy to be using our pool. And then you're gonna think it's weird when we get so hot in the summer, we have a lot of parks that do summer concerts. So that's another thing that I've been appreciating. We've been able to go to a few, uh, they do cover tunes and we've gone to a Beatles one and they're just so much fun. We pack up like a picnic lunch and I'll sometimes make up, you know, chicken or egg salad and Mark gets his chicken tenders that I don't eat because of the flour, but we just have such a fun time listening to the music, kind of camping out, you know, and everybody's there. It's just a really enjoyable, fun time. The socialness of the concerts in the park and just hanging out. For television, we watched a lot of nature shows after we finished Sneaky Pete. We really enjoyed that. Looking forward to the next season, which we'll hopefully be doing. The first nature show we watched was Monkey Life. That was incredible. One, I never knew so many different forms of animals are considered monkeys. Two, their brilliance, their intelligence is insane, crazy. Um, there were so many different things in that show that both Mark and myself were like, whoa, <laughs> it was really worth watching. I love that one. The next one, Life in the Blue, not so much. Um, we have a 4K TV and when something's not filmed entirely in 4K, it just loses its wow factor. So that's not one that I would recommend. And then finally, Saving Sirga. I would recommend this one and I don't want to tell you too much. It is a German man, boy, well, no, young man, um, who ever since he was three or four, knew he wanted to raise a lion. He knew this to his core. And he went to Africa where a lot of the farmers have lions attack their cattle and they shoot the lions. Well, they've started trying to change that and educate these men. And they now are keeping them in an enclosure. And honestly, I was never sure why they don't just take them farther away and release them. But anyhow, one of the lions had babies in the enclosure and I think all of them except for this one were killed by the male lions. They took this one and this man has raised it since it was a pup and it's now not a pup and it shows their relationship. I mean my first inclination was okay he's gonna be lunch. Um, they learn how to hunt. He's realizing that maybe he can teach her some skills and how much is instinct. It's very interesting and enjoyable. I won't say anything more than that. So Olivia was on the Miracle Children's Network telethon and I'm sorry for all of you that the link didn't work. It didn't for me either. I don't know why. Something to do with their web page. They showed several pictures throughout the telethon as Olivia came on and off of Olivia when she went through her ordeal and she talked a bit about that and then at the end she kind of gave a little tribute to all of her friends that she knows that are fighting cancer. She handles herself with such poise. Mom said that in the beginning she was a little nervous but then you could see she got more comfortable and I just think I don't know that I could have been on national television. I think she's done this at 17 years old and now she's 19 so kudos to her. And my other niece, the older niece, Amanda, she is expecting in August. I have to ship that baby blanket up there. Um, she's getting big. She looks great. She's a very natural granola girl. She loves raising her chickens and gives away all her eggs because she's allergic to eggs. But she just loves the living off the land kind of lifestyle. So it'll be interesting how she does with you know, the child rearing, what that turns out to be for her. It's so interesting how all these kids are so different from each other, but they're all wonderful. So that's my life in June. I hope that you guys are having an amazing month. Let me know anything that you care to share about your month down below. I always love getting to know you more and thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day. We'll talk to you next time.